If you guys enjoy content like this, make sure you smash that like button to help promote it on YouTube. Yo, what's up my dudes? Welcome to the video. Today we are reacting to the best console player right now in the game. I sent out a tweet asking who you guys think is the best console player in Chapter 2. And Faceway himself responded to this, the tweet and said Concerned is absolutely insane at this game. Uh, so we're going to be checking him out today. I've been wanting to make a reaction video to a console player for a while. I myself play controller, come from console, and I personally know how difficult it can be to actually like overcome the input lag and the lock of 60 FPS to be an incredible builder and an incredible player. Uh, so I figured we'd check out, show some respect to the console goats out there, and uh, and yeah, we're going to peep concerned. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like on it. It helps boost it in the algorithm and get more exposure for me and concerned. Also, make sure you go over and drop a sub on this channel when we are done with this video. All right, let's get this going. Feel free to drop him, drop him a follow on his Twitter and his Instagram. He's got 36,000 subs on YouTube. Man, his sense is wicked high. A little pill tight. <laughs> Man, that's he's got some quickness, dude. Holy smokes, that's... Okay, dude, he even got faster in the second clip. What do you mean? Okay, this is some... Uh, this is some insane speed, dude. But he does, he does have really good consistency when, he's, when he comes out of his builds. That's one thing. If for some reason you slept on it so far, man, make sure you look into build sensitivity. Um... That's what con Concern does. He has a 2.0 build sense. So basically his his actual like building sensitivity is twice as fast as when he's aiming. So what that allows you to do is have insane builds like this. And then be able to come out of that and be a little bit more consistent with your actual aim. You know, like no point being able to build to the moon and do so really quickly if you can't snap out of it and finish the fight with a, with a solid pump, you know? <laughs> His build speed is nuts, though, man. No joke. Holy smokes. Again, like I, I mentioned in the intro to the video, but the fact that console players have to deal with this lag, like that little bit of extra lag, believe it or not, it's actually pretty substantial if you compare it to, like, controller on PC. And being able to build that smooth on such a high sense... Which is again more difficult to control with higher input lag and lower frame rate. And to be able to hit those bangers like that, dude. That's nuts, man. He's got really solid pyramid use here, man. Just flowing through the builds. I can't believe this is console gameplay. This is nuts. It's so fluid. That's like the first edit he missed, and it wasn't really a miss, dude. He ended up hitting a door and flowing with it, dude. Oh, my God. Like, I think if we went to half speed right now, like, YouTube would not even be able to keep up with this, this building speed, man. This is nutty. Ooh, those are some clean 90s. Hits that little wall stuff in between. Like I said, dude, he's got this flow through his builds, man. It's unreal. Again, I can't believe he's on console. What is he using for his edit button? I think he's using touchpad. <laughs> Make me want to switch to touchpad editing, man. Holy smokes. <laughs> like, he's just straight spinning in these high ground retakes, but yet he has complete control of where he is. Like, I wouldn't even know what was up from down at this point with this high of a sense, but he's got such good control with it, man. It's so insane. And like I said, as your frame rate gets higher, it makes your sensitivity easier to control, especially at higher sensitivities. So the fact that he has, like, this much control on 60 FPS makes me think that he's probably a cyborg. Oh my god. I really like this high ground like retake style where you're throwing cones and ramps above and, and pushing out. <laughs> a little bit of like it's, it's like a little bit of like the face way high ground retake, but with a little bit of concerned own style on it, man. Like face way concerned and, and circ all do this incredibly well that like 
ramping above yourself and then driving out towards it and, and catching under it, it's it's nuts, man. <laughs> Again, he's got such a high sense, man, and he's doing such compl complex high ground retakes, but yet he's still maintaining awareness of where the other player is. Like, that's so important. Like, the thing is, is you can get a lot of players who are really, really good at making high ground retakes, but fail to actually transfer that into the ability to use it on other players in a build fight, right? And the difference there is you have, like, your mechanical ability, ability but then you have your game sense, right? And, like... You got good players who can learn the mechanics, practice the mechanics, perfect the mechanics, but then being able to like integrate that into your own game sense and use it for your 1v1s is just like a different level to operate at, you know? And Concerned very much has that down, dude. Woo -hoo. That was a nice little 360 though. Holy smokes. To say something, but you're streaming. <laughs> I, love, I love that little side retake, man. Yeah, That's a nasty, another nasty 360, man. It's interesting to see him like be parallel with the the other player and then opt to go for a drop down. Like right there, he was on level with the other guy, drop down, that's interesting. You don't see that too often, but it just shows the confidence in his building that like he doesn't need to just only hold height. He can kind of like take an alternate route. And that's one thing, man. If you're playing a player who's very, very good with these these you know, uh, the pyramid placement, and you're above them, it can be really, really hard to actually determine where they are in the fight, and they can use that to their advantage. Man, he's so clean with that high ground retake. It's like putting pu pyramids and cones, like, through the fight slows him down not at all, man. It's like it almost elevates him, you know? Oh man, and there again, it comes down to game sense and it comes down to being able to read your opponent, man. Wow. That just looked nutty. That kid just got straight stuffed. He looked like a straight up <laughs> no there at the end. It's crazy. That move right there, just getting the ramp above and going for the quick edit, you'll be am amazed at how many people still have not perfected that in this game, and that's such an important thing to work on. If you're just getting into this game, you know, as a controller player, like, as you're ramping at somebody, getting that ramp over, focusing on improving your editing to be able to just hit that side ramp flick as fast as possible can be so huge to finishing so many fights quickly. One thing you can watch for to take away into your own gameplay is just how often, especially when he gains height, and you'll see this with a lot of really, really great like controller builders and build builders in general is once you get height how often he'll place pyramids instead of ramps as he keeps driving up to the build fight what happens when you do that is that you can either edit them up into a ramp like you just did or if you get him above the other player you can do a double edit down right on top of him, right there so if the player evades the pyramid they don't end up underneath it you know they can use it or you can just edit it up into a ramp and keep going or jump off the pyramid to elevate yourself <laughs> but they're a really, really easy build to manipulate mid-build fight. And uh, you can get some flashy plays and some tricky plays. It just throws your opponent off. Again, like, he's just dropping... <laughs> he's flicking pyramids up into ramps and dropping them back down. Again, just totally responding to what the other player is doing. If it's something if you want to get better at build fighting, I would definitely recommend to practice. That's one thing I would say is, like, a big, like, noob move I see among uh, other builders is not... Not ever really using pyramids, and yeah, it takes a while to get used to, but if you really practice it, man, you might never look like concerned, but you can look closer to concerned in levels of skill, man. <laughs> oh, man. He's so clean with it, dude. So clean. That's a that's nice. That's a nice edit, dude. I like that. I like that. Oh my gosh, man.
Yo, concerns are actually insane, dudes. If you guys have not already, you're interested in watching one of the next console greats. He is still on console, by the way. A lot of controller players have switched. But if you're on PS4 and you want to watch somebody with the exact same setup, the ex exact same hardware and, like, you know, controller that you're working with yourself, definitely recommend going over and dropping a sub on him. He's got some of the most insane creative builds on YouTube right now, and he's on 60 FPS on console. Nuts.